Hello and welcome back to the Imminent Christmas Advent Calendar. Today is day 25. Let's get straight... Wait, I'm out of cards. Okay, well, at least we've got some Pokemon cards to... Oh no, I'm all out. Wait, that's a knock on my door. Holy shit guys, you won't believe it. I just opened the door and there was, there was a rotund man in a red outfit with white trim. Um, and, and he was elderly and he had like nine uh, reindeers behind him and he dropped this off Look at that. that That's that's authentically from Santa Santa Claus himself dropped this off. Let me let me move the other things away. Oh my god Can you believe this Santa delivered this? What's inside brackets not clickbait? Uh, let's see what's inside this feels like a Paldea Revolved Booster Bundle, um, which which is great because I've been I've been looking for a lot of the trainer full arts from this set. Also, I'm, I kind of need more cards from it because I haven't pulled a ton. But wait, there's there's another thing as well. What is this? Uh, let me move this because it's empty now. Don't worry. Um, oh my God! It's a One Piece Devil Fruit Collection Volume One featuring the Gum Gum Fruit. That's how did Santa know? These two things are specifically what I wanted to open up. Um, wow, can you believe it? Let's move that to the side and let's start this first. Uh, yes, Merry Christmas everybody. Uh, this is truly a surprise. I wasn't, I wasn't prepared to do uh, an imminent Christmas Advent card in episode today. But lo and behold, um, you know, Santa delivered. So if you're watching this on Christmas Day or Boxing Day um, or July 13th, 2027, um, hello, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate your views. Right, let's get straight into it. That's the outer thing. Uh, that is the artwork. It is a bit different. I really like booster bundles because they're kind of impromptu deck boxes as well. Not that I, I don't really play card game. You've seen enough of my videos to know that, you know. I just collect because I have an addiction. Uh, we have six packs, I want to say. Yes, let's go. Okay, I'm just going to do them in this order, I guess. And then we'll do that because I haven't opened any One Piece cards, but I'll get onto that in a minute. Now, uh, as I mentioned, I would really like some full art trainers. Dendra especially because, I know this might be a controversial opinion, Dendra was best girl from Scarlet and Violet. I'm gonna say Psychic Energy. <gasps> Yo, let's go, okay. That means I'm gonna get the pull that I want. <laughs> right, let's begin with a pine call. And now it is a Tinker Tink. Very cute. And we got Mankey. We've got a Deli Bird. We've got a Bombardier. Hey, Skip Loom, hey. Dendra! Okay, right, this is this is a good sign. Dendra's best girl, if you don't remember her, she's the, like, Pokemon battle instructor, teacher, lady, I think. There's that strange line about her, what type, what type is her type? Fighting type Pokemon, which raises more questions, but still, we've got a reverse Lavatar. We've got a reverse superior energy retrieval. And our rare is a hollow boss's orders. Very, wait, is that Getsis? That's Getsis. Good lord. I didn't know he was in this set. What? That's Gen 5. Okay, very cool. Very nice. Um, right, BRB, I'm just gonna move stuff quickly. Hey, there you go. That looks a little bit tidier. And I've kind of got somewhere now I can maybe lean in good pulls we've got. Because usually, with my other poke openings video, I like to I like to put the big hits at the back there, just so you know I can stare at them. And uh, yeah, right. Let's get on to pack two. I'm gonna say steel this time. No electric. All right. Let's begin. Oh, oh, we're really out of focus. There you go. Q fan. We've got a crow gunk. Very cool. Hey, it's a toddle. Very cute. We got a shrewdle. We've got a pseudo wood A Grusha best girl! I've already made that joke. I, I know, I'm sorry. We've got a Primeape. What's he holding there? Uh, oh no, oh, there's something behind him, I thought. Oh, that's the entrance to one of the legendaries, isn't it? Um, on the map, I want to say. 
we've got a reverse Grafai eye. Very cool. I really like Grafai eye. I think his design is really cool. Um, I used him all the way through Scarlet and Fight. Let's go! We got a Sandy Ghast alt art. All right. I I don't know why I forgot there were Pokemon alt arts, but they, they have been since Scarlet and Violet. That's awesome. I really like that artwork. And I love Sandy Ghast. Okay, he's going in the back in a second. Hey, and we got a Pikachu EX. God, what a pack. This is this has been really good. I'm not going to put Pikachu EX in the back because whilst he's like one step rarer, he's, you know, he's not like rare, rare. Uh, ironically, I hope I don't pull too many or I'm going to have to like... I'll, I can lean some against this box as well, actually. Uh, right, we've got a... I can't remember its name. Uh, it's the evolution of Sprigatito, though. Um, yeah, I, I can't remember its name. Right, I'm going to move those to the side. Let's... No, and I don't need the code card. I'm going to say Fighting Energy. No, Psychic. All right, then. Let's begin our third pack with a Tink... Is that a different Tinker Tink? Are there two different Tinker Tinks in this set? Okay. Hey, Shrudel! There you go. Let's go with the Grafaii. We've got Glimmet that revolves into that really cool Pokemon that I can't remember the name of now. Um, there's a lot of the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon that I really liked, but I can't remember the name of. We've got Bramblin. Uh, ooh, Corviknight. Corviknight is not even a hollow. Wow. Okay. To Dunsparce! Let's go, man. <laughs> Such a goofy dude. We've got Pupitar. Very cool. Ooh, a reverse crocolo. That's cool. I'd really like a um Oh, I can't remember Crocolo's evolution now. I am I'm really bad with, with Pokemon names, I'm sorry. Got Nimble, I really like um Low Kicks that it evolves into. Looks like a common rider. And hey, or is a jumpluff. Man, Corviknight is a like uncommon, but jumpluff is a hollow. What a world we live in. Uh, not that I'm complaining, I really like Jumpluff. Uh, I, I think the hop -up line is very cool. Uh, next up, we've got another pack of the same uh, Opera Singer cat. Is it? Is it an Opera Singer it's meant to be? Or sort of a, a clone, maybe? I don't, I don't fully know. Uh, but, I don't know, maybe we'll see. Uh, Fire Energy. Psy Psychic again! Okay, we've hit Psychic two packs in a row now. Three out of four packs have had a Psychic Energy. Interesting. We've got a Q-Fant. A Krogunk. Hey, a Rookie to go with that Corviknight. A Magnemite. Got a Pelipper. Ooh, Fletchinder. I want to say that art is a reprint. Or maybe I've just seen it enough that it's like really familiar to me now. We've got a Vigoroth in the city. Very cool. Well, first reverse is a Rookie D, which we uh, pulled just now. Second reverse is a Combi. Very cute. Look at them. They're all very happy. And, ooh, a Rez and Oricorio. That's cool. You know what? Oricorio's grown on me. I mean, not in the sense that, like, oh, man, I, I always use an Oricorio in every game I play. I don't think I've ever used an Oricorio, but... I do kind of like its gimmicks. Right, penultimate pack. We've pulled an alt art, so I'm not going to say we've not had great pulls. And we pulled an EX, technically, so like, we've definitely hit some pretty good odds so far. Four out of four packs, an alt art and an EX. Pretty good. Steel energy, come on. Water, okay, come well, on. Hey. Uh, right, let's be. Hey, we got a Sandy Ghast. There you go, to go with our alt art. We've got a Tarantula, very cool. Spidops is cool as well, actually. Uh, we've got a Charcadet. Ooh, that's really nice. I really like that artwork. I don't think I've pulled a Charcadet in this set. Got a Murkrow, definitely seen that before. We've got an, Ar uh, an Arctibax, very cool. Uh, we've got Giacorno, Giacorno, Giacorno. Let me know in the comments how you pronounce that. We got a Talon Flame, very cool, small gone bird. Our first reverse is a delivery drone. Uh, I don't remember that being a thing in the game, but hey, our second reverse is a Gyarados, dude. Look at that art. That's so cool. That's really nice. Honestly, that I think that looks better as a reverse with all the like 
reverse pattern underneath that really goes with the cards. That's cool. Ooh, and we got a Copper Roger EX. Now, Tim, if you happen to be watching this, I'm sorry. I know he doesn't like the Q-Fant line. They're not the coolest Pokemon, I'll admit. Uh, even though I love Steel types, I think Copper Roger and q Fanta, eh, they're fine. A Skeledurge, that's his name. There you go, I remembered now. The Fuecoco line. Cr uh, Fuecoco, Crocolo and Skeledurge. There you go. I really like Skeledurge. Uh, I picked the starter not knowing what it evolved into, and I think I picked the right one. Fighting, the last one. Not Steel, okay. Right, let's begin our final Pokemon pack. We've got a Phalanx, I think that shiny border means we're, we're getting a hollow, but still. Got a Combi, a Jigglypuff, ooh, Girafferig, a. We've got Oranguru, I don't think I've pulled an Oranguru either from this set. That's really cool, glad he's back. Electrode, uh, did we pull a Volto? I can't remember, I want to say we did. A, Grafaya, oh no, I thought it was reverse, it's not. Oh, a first reverse. Ooh, Tropius! Man, Tropius is in this set? The... Okay, I really like Tropius. He's he's cool. Uh, it was second... Oh, look at him! Look at that happy little hop-ip. Ah, oh, that's really cute. And our final Pokemon pull of Christmas Day is Wigglytuff. Alright, I'll take it. I don't think I have this Wigglytuff. Uh, it's very, very dark background. I mean, she seems happy, or he, but yeah, I don't know, it's, it's a strange background. Well, might not have been mind-blowing pulls, but I am incredibly happy with this Sandy Gast uh, alt art. I will sleeve that, put it in the background, and we'll get onto the One Piece box. BRB. All right, I'm back. So, I, I am really looking forward to this. So, I haven't opened any One Piece cards. Um, without my scissors, I'm not going to be opening this one. BRB. Actually, before opening it, I thought I'd show you guys the box. So, this is the Devil Fruit Collection Volume 1 Gum Gum Fruit. So, we got Luffy on the side. Uh, that explains what comes in it. So, I think uh, you get three packs, one of two Don cards. I think Don card, they're, they're like a, they're, they're a gameplay mechanic. I haven't played the game, obviously. And we've got a sleeve set of ten which is interesting, so you can either get Gum Gum uh, or that design. Sorry, that was really out of focus. So I don't know what Don card I'd want uh, either, but hey, you know. It's very weird that it offers 10 sleeves, but part of the reason I bought it is I've been really curious with by, you know, by the One Piece collection, but also because I just really like the gum gum fruit. That is really cool. Um, oh, okay, so all the cards are inside that. BRB. All right, I've got rid of the plastic as well, so we'll take a look. Uh, so I don't know if any of you are One Piece fans. I've kind of recently got into it. I just recently finished the Sky Pier arc. I'm giving it a kind of break until I start. I think, is, is it the Water 7 arc next or something? So I'm looking forward to that. Uh, right, so I guess... Let's uh, let's break this open. This is really cool. Though. It's quite heavy. I mean, it's got packs in it and stuff, but this is this is a good piece of. Uh... Oh dear, I've just realised this is going to be awkward to display, isn't it? I have to get some kind of stand. Um... Oh, actually, no, that's fine. Right, I cross that bridge and I come to it anyway. So do we just twist it. Ah, hey, there you go. Right, okay. So you get the three packs. I think they're from there's two different packs from different sets, I want to say. So we've got uh, Pillars of Strength, which is OP03. Very cool. And I think these are OP... Oh, look at OP04. Okay, we've got Kingdoms of Intrigue. Uh, no, no, that's Luffy and that's Law, I want to say. I've not got that far in the anime yet, but I do know that. I don't know who that is. Is that one of the designs of the sleeves, I want to say? Um, well, I guess we'll see that in a second. So, the sleeves we got uh, is this one. Actually, it's people I don't recognise. I'll be honest. Uh, actually, wait. 
Wait, 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 they're the ones from Alabaster, right? He's the guy that turns into the eagle and he's the swordsman, right? They're the, like, the royal guards of Vivi's court, I want to say. I think, actually, that's really cool. Never mind, I do recognise them. I think he's the cool hawk guy. There you go. We got some sleeves, if I do pull any heat. And by that, I mean, I don't know what is cool or what is considered heat. Ah, ooh, there you go. Oh, that's that's really cool. So I couldn't really tell on the back what the Don card was, but this is a manga panel of Luffy saying that he's going to be king of the pirates. If you've ever watched any episode whatsoever, uh, you you'll know that he ends every episode by saying that. That's really cool, though. That is some nice artwork. That's the back. That is the like back of the card and stuff. Gives you plus 1,000. Um, yeah. Again, I don't know how Don cards work. I know you sort of... You use them. I don't know if they work like lands or energy card or energy cards from Pokemon or whatever, but you know. Anyway, I'm gonna go clean everything up slightly and we'll get into it. Also, just quickly, I just want to show you that is the inside of the Devil Fruit. So square, so I guess you could keep you could keep things inside and it would keep, you know, stay fairly rigid. Anyway, BRB. Hey, alright, okay, I've angled it slightly up. So let's get straight into Pillars of Strength, OP03. I want to say, I think OP5 recently came out, and I think there's like a Monkey D. Luffy, like, alt art or secret card or whatever that is apparently quite valuable, I want to say. Um, now, I'm not expecting to, to recognise a lot of these cards, because as I say, I've, I'm only like 200 and something episodes in, but we'll see. We've got Sham. Don't recognize. Oh wait, no, hang on. He's a black cat, isn't he? The black cat pirate. Yeah, he was one of them from uh, Usopp's kind of story. We've got Kami. Don't recognize her, but uh, that's definitely orders drawing there, as you can see. We've got Kurio. Cool. Oh, we've got Usopp's rubber band of doom. <laughs> Very cool. That's like a. Um, I guess that's a manga panel, a colorized one. We've got Nero. Don't recognise him. Fiery Doll! Uh, don't recognise that. Maybe that's a thing. Ah! Usopp! Oh, Usopp's pirate crew! The... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, the vegetable crew, right? Or something like that? That is a zero. I don't know what that entails, but that probably gives you some kind of buff. we got Tempest Kick Sky Slicer. Oh, that's cool. That's a... Um, yeah, that's like a manga panel as well. That's That's really cool. We've got Shira Hoshi. Uh, don't know who she is, but I approve. We've got Iceberg. <laughs> I like the way that's uh, spelled. No, okay. I, I don't recognise that company. Uh, ooh. Our first, we got Charlotte Smoothie. Don't recognise her, but this is our first reverse, I guess. Good lord, she is... Uh, an interesting character. Oh, Kaya! There you go. That She's part of Usopp's uh, backstory as well. She's the girl that Usopp's love and loves. And her, her butler, Mary, gave them the going Mary. Which, at the moment, I know they get a new ship. But at the moment, the ship they've got in the anime. And we've got a Don card at the end. So this is kind of the... Um, I, I'm assuming you get one in every pack. I want to say, actually, can't you get... Slightly, like, there are different Don cards as well, aren't there? And that's an advert for the app and stuff. Which I might download and give a try to, to kind of, you know, give a go to the game. Uh, right, we're on to OP4, which is Kingdoms of Intrigue. I mean, if it wasn't for the fact Law is on the front, and I'm, I'm aware that Law is, like, later on in the series. I say that because, again, I'm 200 episodes in, he hasn't showed up yet. If it wasn't for that, I'd maybe think that this was an alabaster-themed uh, booster set, but it's not. We've got Pound. Don't recognise him. Actually, shall I do? Shall I do the Don card first? We've got. Okay, that wasn't Don. That wasn't a Don card. I saw it was. It looks pretty cool. I'm gonna keep that till the end. I didn't get a good look at it. We got Kuro. Hey, there we are. That's another guy I recognise. He's the leader of the Black Cats. Sanji, I know him. I don't know how you'd watch One Piece of Don't in him, actually. Hanger! That is some hair, my dude. We've got Idio. Nope, don't recognise him. 
we've got weakness is an unforgivable sin. Very cool. Ooh, ooh, man. That's cool. That's a cool panel. Don't know who that is, but that's cool. Neffel Tari Cobra. Oh, that's um, Vivi's dad. Oh, and that is that young Vivi there. There you go. Neffel Tari. I, I thought it was Nefertari. No? Okay. We've got Queen. Nope. Don't recognise that snake thing. Eric! Alright. <laughs> that's nice. Ice, iceberg again. He's popular, apparently. Uh, I don't know, the, the Ga Gali Law Company. We've got Cavendish. That's a... Is that a reverse or a rare? Uh, hang on. It is a rare. Sorry, I, I took too long. And I think the next one is the cool one. Hey! We've got Tree Treball. Treball. Cool. Um, and he's from the... Oh, Don Quixote Pirates. Now, I've... I've seen Don Quixote, he like popped up. There was like a meeting thing and he was midway through the Skypea arc. What is he? He's also a rare. Right? He's a rare? I don't know why you'd look so... I guess maybe it's a character... Oh god, this is really out of focus. Sorry, hang on. I guess because maybe he's a character card that the reverses look really cool. Uh, let me know if you do play the One Piece card game. Let me know below just in case I have pulled something kind of cool. Um, you know, I'm not expecting. I know, I want to say OP01, obviously the first set of One Piece. I want to say there's a Zoro card that's worth like hundreds or like a thousand or something. Um, obviously it's not going to be on that level, but still. We've got Olum, Olumbus. Hey, Karu! There you go. This is definitely an Alabaster thing. This is uh, Vivi's ride slash pet. We've got Tom. Don't recognise him, I'm sorry. Uh, we've got Charlotte. Perse Perro. Perro Sparrow. Perro Sparrow. Cool. All right. Don't recognise. Uh, Coride Coliseum. Okay. Coride Coliseum. Oh, Dressarossa. Right. I'm aware Dressarossa is an arc in the anime, so it's probably there. Yokozuna. Oh, okay. Interesting. We've got Don Quixote family. Hey, that's the family of Don Quixote, I'm presuming. We've got Enchanting Vertigo Dance. Uh, don't reckon... Oh, wait. Is that... Yeah, yeah. Is that um, number three, Bon Clay? No. No, I don't... No, maybe it's not. Okay. I thought for a second that was... Uh, not Bon Clay. Um, who's the ballet dancer, the Fort Sanji at the end of the Alabaster Saga? Whoever that is. Gats! He's got some gats! Page one! Uh, okay, that's... Sure. Well, first reverse is Spiderweb. Uh, you knew he wouldn't run. Spiderweb! Nope. Don't remember. Although, um, Miss... Miss Doublefinger, I guess, from... Uh, Baroque Works, she had a spider thing going on, didn't she? And we're lost rare, hey, is Don Quixote, Don Flamingo, there you go. Oh, yeah, oh, right, so he is Don Flamingo. I don't know why in my mind I thought they were two different people. That's really cool. That is a nice card. Like, I love the, um, I love the folds of his trousers glow, sort of. Well, these are really cool. Um, it is, it is kind of a shame that, you know, I don't, know a lot of these characters. I'm sure I will once I'm, you know, more, more caught up. Uh, I mean, catching up is going to take me several years, obviously. But yeah, let me know in the comments if you like One Piece. Um, I might buy more of these. I have been tempted to buy a few packs a few times, but I thought I'd wait until Christmas as, you know, it'll be a special thing. But yeah, I... Honestly, that gum gum fruit thing itself is like pretty much worth it. Everything else I got was cool and everything, but yeah, this is a nice display piece. It is volume one, so I'm looking out. I'm guessing flame flame fruit, which is um, what Ace it is, will maybe be volume two. I don't know, but we'll wait and see. But anyway, regardless, thank you guys very much for watching. Not only today, but the rest of the card ender. If you happen to watch that as well. Um, it's been fun. I'll obviously be doing it next year, same as always. 
Uh, and before I go, the main thing, Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. I will be putting out one more video before the New Year. Uh, as I mentioned, I ordered two anime Blu-ray mystery boxes. So when I'm back from my family's house, I will be filming that. So stay tuned for that. And we'll be doing an end of year wrap up as well with the Talk Toys episodes end of 2023. So stick around for that. And yeah, thank you guys very much for watching. I hope you have a delightful Christmas and a happy new year. And, you know, just enjoy the holiday season. And I will see you, uh, well, in a few days video time. But if I don't, you know, if you don't see anything by then, happy new year. And I'll see you in 2024. Merry Christmas!